Hello guys, hope you're having a very great day and welcome back to my Citrix lab setup series. And in this video, we are going to uh, talk about the part 2, which is creating a new VM and installing ADDS role and promoting it to a domain controller. Uh, just for the recap, in the uh, previous uh, video, which is part 1, what we did is completing the prerequisite on Hyper-V, which is creating a virtual switch for our Citrix lab. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is downloading the ISO or VHD file for Windows Server 2019 evaluation version. So I'm opening my browser and all you have to do is just search for oops, download, uh, just search for download Windows Server 2019 and click on the first link. And uh, as you can see, you will get 180 days of uh, evaluation version. So uh, I'm going to download VHD, uh, even though it's gonna uh, have a big size uh, comparing to ISO, uh, but still it will save us a lot of time while installing the OS. So I'm just gonna click on continue. And uh, you will be asked to uh, mention or uh, you know fill out all this information and click on continue then you will be able to download the VHD file and uh, for your information I have already uh, downloaded it so I have downloaded both the ISO uh, as well as uh, VHD file uh, the only main difference between them are like uh, you know uh, if you take ISO and it will be like 5 gigs and when you are uh, you know creating or installing the OS uh, it will take a lot more time uh, for ISO because you have to uh, go through some configurations and which is not much needed for the uh, VHD file because those will be uh, already pre-configured and uh, this is a, a data center evaluation version so uh, the next thing will be creating the our new VM that's gonna be our domain controller so on the right hand side in the action panel click on new and virtual machine and give it a name as DC and click next it's gonna be generation 1 and I'm giving 2 gigs of RAM so that's gonna be 2048 MB and I'm gonna uncheck uh, use dynamic memory because I'm going to allocate the complete 2 gigs for uh, my DC. So click next. And uh, in the networking, uh, select the switch that we have created in the uh, previous video, which is Strand Lab. And click next. So here uh, I'm not going to create a new virtual hard disk because we already downloaded it. So click here and browse and go to just never mind about this so i'm going to use this one uh, which we have downloaded open and next and finish and before turning on the uh, vm uh, there are a couple of things we have to do so one is giving uh, two vCPU uh, even though one CPU is uh, good enough but still for the better performance I'm just giving it two and uh, I will be disassembling the checkbox this is kind of a snapshot that we don't need uh, the main thing which uh, you know checkpoints is whenever you are switching it on switching it off it will be syncing every time and it will take some more time which is not necessary for us so apply okay and then right click connect click on start okay <clears throat> so i will give it as full screen and connect it's gonna reload again There we go. So uh, usually guys, um, <clears throat> it will be like whenever you are, uh, you know, installing a VHD, the first couple of things will be, uh, it will ask for you to 
select your uh, you know the country you are from which language you are going to select and then it will ask you to create a new password for administrator since i have already did it just for the trial you know before starting my video uh, now it's not asking anymore so <clears throat> okay so we are in and the very first thing that we are going to do is uh, changing the server name so you can go to run and type system.cpl click ok and click on change so I'll just give it a name as DC and click ok yes it will ask you to restart click ok and close and there are one more thing that I want to do so I'll just keep it that side which is going to system.cpl again later and go to advanced and click on performance and here I don't want to have all these animations for you know the better appearance of so I'm just gonna select only for best performance and then I will be selecting only smooth edges of screen fonts apply okay okay so now I'm going to ncpa.cpl and we might need to give a static IP address so I'm not going to use IPv6 so uncheck that IPv4 use the following IP so I'm gonna give 192.168.10.11 and default gateway is gonna be 192.168.10.1 click ok click ok and close so now we are good to restart so let's give it some maybe couple of minutes Okay, it's restarted. Welcome. Okay. So now if we go to CMD and host name, DC is there right now. Okay. So the next thing will be uh, installing the ADDS role. So just add roles and features. Skip this page by default. Click next and click next and next. And here select active directory domain services. Add features. And hmm. That's all for now. Click next and click next. Next, restart the destination server automatically if required. Yes, and install. So it may take uh, maybe a couple of minutes or two to three minutes more. Okay, installation started on DC. Okay. 
okay now the installation has succeeded click on close and uh, when you notice you will see this uh, the hello triangle so you will see this promote this server to a domain controller click on that so here we are going to add new forest the domain name will be grand.local and you can give uh, the what with the name you prefer to give and click next and give the DSRM password I usually keep the same password for uh, all the servers next and click next and NetBIOS name uh, it's gonna pop up so usually it will be uh, the, the, the first one that you gave so for me it's dran.local so NetBIOS is gonna be dran so whenever you're trying to log into any server you'll, you'll just use dran slash the username and password click next and let it be default click next and next okay let's see what it is maybe let's check this maybe i'll give 192 168 10 .11. so dns server also is going to be the same server so click ok click ok close uh, let's try again okay that's good so all prerequisite checks pass successfully so let's click on install to begin so just uh, you know kind of a lesson for you uh, whenever you get that kind of error message you go and check uh, if you have already mentioned your dns server name otherwise you just have to do it just like i did okay that was completed and you can see this server uh, was successfully configured as a domain controller that's a good news and click on close and the server will be rebooted close yep Okay, now you can notice uh, we got this domain name here. I'm going to still use administrator. Okay, now uh, if we go to system.cpl, you can see the full computer name is dc.tran.local. So 
we are successful so the first thing we are going to do here is open the active directory and ran local and we are going to create a new OU by right clicking on the domain new organizational unit I'm gonna name it as DRAN and under DRAN I'm going to create few more OUs one is gonna be users and so either you can you know uh, go by right clicking on a DRAN new organization unit otherwise you can click here and then you click on uh, this folder with the star in it click on that that's also create an OU next uh, groups DRAN oops and then servers click on ok and in the users we are going to create alpha next next finish uh, we are done with the part 2 and the third one is gonna be creating another server and that's gonna be ctx core and we will be uh, you know uh, just like we did for the DC we will create a server and then we will rename it then give it a static IP and then we will add it to the newly created domain ran.local and uh, that's all for today guys uh, thank you so much for watching stay tuned bye bye